Hi, this is Tanya with Bankston Motorhomes, and I'm here today with Janine Pettit of the Girl Camper Podcast. Welcome. Welcome. Tanya, thanks for having me. We are so glad that you're here, and I have to say, um, I'm a little nervous about today's topic, but I know <laughs> I know lots of people have questions about how yeah. to manage the restroom area, so okay, I know... Okay, it's um, potty talk. It is potty talk, and I'm, I'm wondering... That's why like, we have our coffee cups. <laughs> <laughs> it's vodka. No. It's <laughs> I can't believe you that. It's not vodka, for those of you that are wondering. It's so, water. So, no. I'm perfectly comfortable talking potty talk. <laughs> yeah. I've got kids. I do potty talk. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. What is the yeah. most frequent question you get asked by your girl campers? Well, you know, they want to know how often to put one of these drop-ins in the toilet. So, I really am glad for the opportunity to clear that up. So, you should only be adding a drop-in, dissolvent, and deodorizer every time you dump the tank. So, let's just say you're at a campground and you're hooked up to full hookups. You don't want to leave those valves open. You want both tanks to get like two-thirds full, and then you can go and dump them. And dump the black tank first, and then you dump your gray tank, and then you close those valves, and then you're going to come back in, fill that toilet bowl up two or three times with water and flush it, and then put your new drop in it. Okay, so this was something that we were talking about with Mike the Parts Guy, because he helps us when we're trying to figure out product stuff, and he was talking about the difference between using the liquid and the drop in, and how much you right. get for the little tiny amount of liquid. So can you explain right. how that works? Yes, and so Mike, I'm glad we had that check because <laughs> I'm going to change. Now, I always use the drop-ins, but these are actually designed for like a big fifth wheel, a 40-gallon black water tank, wow. okay? So I only have a little 9-gallon, so this is four times more than what I need. So if I buy these small bottles, which are four ounces each, technically I only need a half an ounce, but knowing me, I would put in an ounce. So every one of these bottles is going to be four tank changes for me. So instead of carrying this, I can carry two of these bottles and I can be gone two or three weeks with just two little bottles. So it's more valuable economically, but it's a big space saver. So I'm going to go over to the little bottles. Okay. So we've got the tank thing worked out. So then I'm guessing the next question is maybe like how do I make sure it's really clean or how can I do right. it as efficiently as possible? So do you have tips for that? Well, I can tell you this. Um, you know, at home I'm big Mrs. Clean with the bleach when I'm doing the bathroom. You don't want to use bleach in your RV. So bleach water, I know mentally we think it's cleaner, but with bleach water it can damage the seal uh, the rubber ring seal and you don't want to do that so I would use a light cleaner you could do a homemade product which is vinegar and water and then you just wipe your trailer uh, walls down just like I have a squeegee in mine okay. wipe it all clean dry with just a light mild cleaner but don't use bleach in it okay all right. And the other thing, Tanya, is when you leave the campground, when you're done, make sure when you bring it home and park it in your driveway, you have an inch or so of water in the bottom of that toilet. You don't want that rubber seal to become dry. And when I park mine for the season and my trailer has been winterized, I get a jar of Vaseline and I put a little Vaseline around the inside of that seal. You want to keep that rubber seal moist. So y'all heard a really good tip from Janine <laughs> there, too, on how to make sure that yeah. the rubber in your unit lasts yeah. as long as possible and the seals last as long as possible. And, of right. course, you do that after you've cleaned everything, so you right. feel good about that. Um, I think I think that's enough potty talk for today. <laughs> that's enough potty talk. Let's talk about something more fun. <laughs> okay, so next podcast, next video, I guess, since this is not a podcast, right? Yeah. It'll yeah. be something more fun. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> water hoses. Ooh. Because I want to straighten out a few things about water hoses. So we'll come back with a water hose talk. Okay. Cheers. <laughs>